Hi guys. Yes, we're still here. Um, one of the reasons I haven't been making videos is because I have been very busy working. Um, a couple months ago, my best friend Karen sold me her Ford Escape. And now that I have a reliable car, um, the Amish have been asking for rides a lot. So I'm busy most of the time. I mean, this actually, this week has been my least busiest time probably since April. I think we got the car at the beginning of April, and I've had jobs almost every day. Here, I'll show you the car if I can turn this around. Let's see. No, I can't. Okay. There it is. Um, because of all the rains, we've had to park it at the end of the driveway because the driveway is way too wet. So, lots of changes going on. Car. And then um, I drive the Amish generally to their doctor's appointments and stuff. And we've had a lot of pregnant women. So uh, lots and lots of appointments. And uh, what a blessing. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that we've been up to. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you be right back well Scott got himself a trailer to hook up to the tractor and he's making a bed for it right now one of uh, the most exciting changes is that we got another tank for water catchment say hi hello so now we have um, 600 gallons and uh, we also have running hot and cold water in the house and <clears throat> I've been, we've been working on the kitchen and let's show you. comes pretty. <laughs> Ta-da! It's not done yet. There's still a lot of work that has to be done, but um, I got tiles up. We got my hood up. Scott made these great shelves underneath. I painted the bottom and I'm gonna make curtains to cover all the shelves. And I got a fancy new faucet here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now our water is still, um, it's not filtered. We need to get a whole house filter for it, but uh, we still have our Berkey and we still get water from town for our uh, water cooler so there's my new hood with lights so when I do cooking videos it'll be much nicer and I actually rearranged the whole kitchen I've got the refrigerator over here now put my hutches right next to each other I know it looks very cluttered but you know I cook from scratch and I have a lot of stuff for cooking and baking and that's just the way it is. Keep some of my cast iron there. And uh, I've got my table over here still and I put this cart on this side. It used to be on the other side. Fridge is over there. I've got my hutch, which yes, I know it's a mess. It needs to be rearranged 
or arranged but that's where all my baking stuff and spices are and then down there's all my containers and baking goods and then here more spices I use a lot of spices so and then there's my shelves above I mean everything's still a work in process we're not done yet I mean we have to once Scott gets a board up there I can finish tiling on that side we need to get all the trim done he's gonna make a wood channel for the water pipes but uh I mean I'm loving it I love my kitchen now it's just so fun and as disorganized as it looks for me it's totally organized and I know where everything is and I don't have to run all over the house and there's Brutus lording over everything say hi Brutus this is no leave me alone and Seamus in his usual spot so let's go here and I'll show you that is our on-demand hot water tank we got it off of uh, Amazon and it's awesome it works perfectly and we're very happy with it and then in addition to getting my kitchen all set up oh I have no light in here sorry I've got running water in the bathroom we've got this rain shower head up here which is so awesome for our shower so uh, we're living high off the hog now there's our water cooler and it also is a water heater Karen's dad gave that to us so here's another angle of the kitchen my domain I love it I love cooking now I love being in it I love baking <clears throat> so let's see where Scott is see if he has anything to say what are you up to this and that <laughs> Working on the wagon now. I gotta finish cutting them to length for the wagon. Yeah. And then I don't know. I'm thinking. Pool? I don't know. I gotta see. We haven't been able to get our pool done yet, set up or anything, because it's been so wet here, so much rain, that. I mean, we haven't been able to do anything, really. And uh, outside, we were going to put gardens in up front this year. And Scott even got a plow attachment for the tractor from one of his buddies. And he hasn't been able to use it yet. So we've just been kind of stuck. And I've got... Let's see if I can get through here without landing in mud. Over here, I want to make into an outdoor lounge. So, I mean, now we've had a couple good days of sun on it. We could probably start working on it. But another thing that is coming up is that Scott and I have decided we're going to put a bedroom addition off of our bedroom here so there's the bedroom we're gonna do a 10 by 14 addition and uh, so all this area has to be cleared and we have to till it but it's still very wet you can see how wet it still is and uh, so our bedroom will be here and then this room which is currently our bedroom slash my craft room will be just my craft room so yeah over here 
we're going to do like an outdoor lounge area and uh, all the kitties are seen saying who you're talking to but I mean that's pretty much it that's that's what we've been up to uh, like I said I mean really I've been so busy driving that uh, I just haven't had a lot of time for much anything there's Jarrett Say hi, Jarrett. Ooh, sorry about that. So, um, canning season is coming. I'm very disappointed that we weren't able to get a garden in. And, uh, but I've got sources for veggies and stuff, and the auction that way <laughs> the homerville auction i should be able to get a lot of tomatoes there and they'll all be organic local tomatoes from the amish um and my friends they're putting in little uh garden plots in for me in their gardens too and giving me fresh food so it's always nice um i've been really busy making clothes for myself this is one of them um, I found a style that I really like called leg and look which is German for layered layers and um, a designer named Tina Givens who I really really love and I've joined some groups on Facebook and so I've been sewing clothes like crazy so if you'd be interested in seeing what I've been making or watching me make something or whatever let me know I'll make the video um, I'm usually sitting at my sewing machine every evening after I'm done with everything around the house so that would be very easy to set up um, what else what else what else what else oh let me show you this Scott has been making signs with the CNC machine next door at the mill. He made these two winter com is coming signs. Game of Thrones fans will know what that is. Yeah. Um, here's one he did that hasn't been painted yet. Let me set it there and you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's one thing that he's been working on. I've been collecting sheets and fabric from thrift stores. Um, and I've been challenging myself to make the clothes that I make out of sheets and fabric and anything thrifted. I mean, I do have some new fabrics here because Walmart had them at a dollar a yard. So I had to take advantage of that. But there's... There's a preview of some of the stuff I've been making. But yeah, if you'd like to see what I've been working on, I'd be happy to make a video on it. And just my usual, see, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> There's so little room in here for me to create. And, but I can't not create. That's just who I am. It's just part of me. I have to always be making something. Um, I haven't been doing junk journals in a while just because I've been, my time has been limited and the time that I've had to sew, I've been working on clothes. And I mean, I think I'm probably going to be doing that for a while, but I've been wanting to get back into making junk journals. So I probably will soon. But right now, my focus is on making myself some clothes. And I'm going for modest looks. Um, just because that's kind of who I am. I just... Not for any religious reasons or anything. That's just the kind of person I am. Here's a dream catcher I made years ago. 
Isn't that cute? So guys, that's what's going on here at Avalon Acres Farm. Um, I know we've been really slack about making videos lately and I'm sorry I apologize to all of our subscribers. Um, whoa! <laughs> My, uh, okay, I think we're good now, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it's just getting back into the habit of doing it and, uh, I still get caught with this feeling of why would anybody want to watch us? I mean, because in reality we're quite boring. <laughs> you know, we just we're just living our lives. We don't have any livestock yet. We don't have any gardens, and uh, so we can't really show so much of our homesteading life yet because that's just it's in the future yet. So, as far as being a homestead channel, I mean, I can concentrate on homesteading skills like sewing and cooking and baking and canning and stuff like that. And then, you know, woodworking, the stuff Scott does, and uh, that kind of stuff. But, uh, I, if there's a real interest out there, I will definitely start making videos again. And, I mean, I miss it. And, um, I like making videos. Uh, I just can't get past the, why would anybody want to watch me? Here's your reminder. So, um, it's just a head thing, you know? I, I just, I gotta get over it. And, um... If I get back into the habit of making videos regularly, I will be able to get over it. It just, when you stop, it's really hard to get back into it because you're doubting yourself all the time, or at least I am. And, uh, but I love making videos. I love, um, talking to my subscribers. Thank you to all who have come over to the Facebook page and message me or message me on YouTube and ask what's going on. Um, yeah, we're fine. Um, now, when I initially had stopped making videos, that was back in March, and it was just because, you know, it was the anniversary of Sean's death, and I kind of got into a funk, and, uh, but then... April came and we got the car and then all these jobs started popping up and I mean I was just busy all the time and it was good I mean it's exactly what I needed it pulled me out of my funk and um, so that's where I am now um, as far as the cooking videos go hey if there's something you want to see me make let me know put it in the comments below and I'll definitely get a video out um trying to think I was trying to get through a whole month of cooking and that month was the month of March and I think we got maybe three weeks so I'll do some random cooking videos and of course when canning season starts up for me I'll make videos for that, and um, I'll be drying herbs and stuff. I'm still, you know, once we get dried up a little bit and he cuts the grass, I'm going to see if we can plow up a small area so I can at least start a perennial herb garden, because that's something that I want to have all year round. And, uh, I mean, it's not quite July yet. I think... If I got some starts, there's a um, herb greenhouse who specializes in um, heirlooms and stuff. Uh, about five miles down the road, um, I was thinking if I go there and get starts from them and stuff, I can get a nice herb garden growing before the first frost comes. So. 
that's something I'm still going to do. And I'm also going to try to get in a fall garden of, you know, uh, cabbages, broccoli, cauliflower, greens. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really bummed about not being able to grow tomatoes and peppers this year. But, I mean, even if I had gotten them in the ground, we've gotten so much rain. I don't know if they would have made it either way because... <clears throat> Um, I think for the month of June, and today's June 21st, I think, um, we've already gotten like 10 inches of rain here, maybe more, I don't know, it's been crazy. Um, we've had more rain in the last three months than we usually have all year, so been wet but uh so yeah that's that's what's going on um we're doing good uh <clears throat> i'm gonna be busy seamus started physical therapy for his um feet and his legs and his hips he has been a tippy toe walker all his life that's an autism trait and he's had a lot of growth spurts in the last year and his muscles are just like this. He can't flatten his feet at all. He can't straighten his legs. And uh, so we're starting physical therapy. Um, they're going to do uh, aqua therapy and then just regular old PT twice a week. So um, once we can afford to get our pool filled up, that'll help him... Uh, work on stuff at home too but we have exercises at home that he's supposed to work on as well so that's that's what's going on um, next week a friend of mine from high school is gonna take Scott and I to Indiana to pick out a German Shepherd puppy his, his son's dogs had puppies and they're full German Shepherds and they're black so they'll, it'll match with all our black cats <laughs> we just can't seem to get away from black animals but that's okay because I love them but uh, <clears throat> that's it so uh, let me know that you saw the video leave some comments below and I'll respond let me know what you want to see um, once we start working on some of the major stuff like the uh, bedroom extension, oh, um, and one thing that we, we're also working on, not really working on, but at least thinking about is um, my mom and my aunt need some help. And we live too far away for me to easily get to them all the time. So we're trying to figure out a way that we can afford to put on an extension so they can come and live with us and I can take care of them. And, uh, I mean, we don't have any money, so I don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll figure it out. I mean, everything, everything's been working out, you know, just when I'm like, oh, I need some money. I don't have any money. I get a job. Uh, everything's been working out. And, uh, I have no complaints. I'm I'm actually very pleased at how our life is working and you know, I'm kind of over that big hump of grief and I'm starting to really enjoy my life again and um and my gratitude is just boundless. I'm just so grateful for everything that we have. Um you know, a lot of people would look at our shed house and go, you know, but you're living in a hovel or whatever. But I love it. I love it. And you know what? Once it's completely finished, it's going to be awesome. And, and uh, you know, I don't care what other people think. And I think that's probably the most... Uh, advanced I mean I haven't really for years I mean I, I've always been my own person I've always been different people have always thought I was weird um, 
you know, when, when I was a young housewife and I was sewing all the time and I was cooking all the time, everyone's like, you know, why do you take all the time to do that? Why don't you just buy that or, you know, you can buy a box mix for that. And it's like, no, I want it real. I want it, I get joy from creating, whether it's making homemade bread or sewing clothes or making quilts or whatever that's who I am and if I'm if that makes me weird okay I'm a weirdo um, but you know since I've hit my 50s turned 53 this year um, I've just gotten into this mode where I'm here for me I don't you know if people don't get me that's okay that's fine you know I get me my family gets me and um, it's all that matters and the things that I do sure they may be a lot more work but you know what they make me happy and I know that my family is getting the best of the best from me so and that's that's what's most important to me that I give the, my family the best I can give them so if you know a lot of people call me Laura Ingalls Wilder or, or you know or say the Amish my Amish friends call me almost Amish <laughs> we joke around about that you're almost Amish I'm like yeah but I couldn't give up my electricity <laughs> I mean I could but I wouldn't want to and I definitely couldn't give up music. Music is my life, so. So I'm just rambling now, and uh, I hope you all are doing well. I miss you, I love you, and we will try to be more regular on making videos, I promise. And Seamus is trying real hard to stay out of frame. <laughs> so please, leave some comments, give me a thumbs up and say hey let me know what you're up to um uh, another thing i haven't been able to be keeping up on youtube videos i mean even my all my favorites that i watch i i've really not been watching anybody um and I, I don't have the time to make them i don't have the time to watch them so i'm gonna try and work on that and and start getting caught up but one thing that we are thrilled beyond measure about is that we finally reached a thousand subscribers. Yay! But our watch hours are, are low. I mean, the last time I checked, they were like 2,400 watch hours or something. We need 4,000 before we can go monetize. And I mean, I'm not really worried about it because we haven't been making enough videos to justify monetization. So, um,. But it's still exciting to know that we have the last, at my last check, it was 1,011 subscribers. So, welcome new subscribers. Thanks for joining us. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Avalon Acres Farm on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, Leslie at Avalon Acres Farm on Instagram and on Pinterest. I'm on Twitter, but I don't do anything on Twitter. I just read tweets, basically, or I will tweet um, links to videos I make. That's basically all I do. Um, but I think on Twitter, I'm That's obsolete. Marseille Quilts. The tweeting videos. So, uh, again, thank you. Thank Very you for... The tweeting videos. Okay. Feature. Thank you for continuing to support our channel. Thank you for sticking with us, even though we haven't been consistent on videos. I promise I will work. I'm getting better. Um, and just thank you. Thank you for letting us know that you care about what's going on with us and that you're worried or, you know, hey, what's happening? Um, I've, I've tried to respond to everybody that's either... Um, reached out on the Facebook page or reached out on YouTube so if I've missed your comment I I literally missed it I haven't seen it yet so you know leave comments below thank you very much thumbs up and we'll talk to you soon love you bye bye